Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate you coming back. Please subscribe if you have not already. And if you are not following me on Instagram, you should totally do that too. I love chatting with y'all, love talking to ya. Y'all like seeing pictures of my bulldog apparently, <laughs> which is basically like all I share. It's not, just kidding. But I love being able to get cringy content from y'all, sharing cringy content with you and all that. So follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram is at I am CC Suarez. That's linked down below. Along with my email, if you would like to send me any maybe links to MLM, you know, Zoom calls, like Zoom team calls, would love to sneak into one. That's my, like one of my favorite hobbies at this point. And like Tony loves watching them too now with me. <laughs> Feel free to send all that over. And then also if you would like to send me over your like horror story submission or just like your experience in general it doesn't have to be like a horror story horror not horror i mean send me over your slutty stories too if you want <laughs> but please do in the subject line of those if you do email me them put mlm horror horror story submission Jeez. and yeah if you'd like to watch any of my anti-mlm content that playlist is right up there it's getting pretty long but it's definitely a good binge worthy playlist and today we have yet another mlm fails video for you and thank you to everyone who sent me all these i found some of them on my own just from like lurking around but most of these for all these videos y'all sent to me okay so this first one okay we're just gonna let this first one play that's suspicious That's weird. That's suspicious. So she's saying that's suspicious. That's weird. And on the top it says, tell me why people say pyramid scheme when they think of direct sales. And then it says CEO, managers, supervisors, employees. Like imagine, imagine how tired I am of them thinking we're talking about a fucking shape. They make it super, super simple for you. We're not talking about the shape of the company, you dum-dums. We're talking about the recruiting aspect and that realistically to make money you have to recruit people under you so therefore there will always be someone at the bottom making no money or losing money in order for someone at the top of whatever team or the pyramid to make money for instance people in like the customer service department aren't losing money they're getting paid they're getting paid for their time and they're getting benefits they're not losing money so i think it's important to understand that and like I had someone in my comments the other day say, well, you see that we're making money off people below. This person is so dumb. Like you're saying we're making money off people below us, but what are, what's your boss doing? Get, getting rich off of you. And it's like, no, she's not. Most people in manager positions. And also it's funny that it says CEO, manager, supervisors, manager and supervisor, depending on where you work, but typically is those are fucking synonyms. It should have said CEO, VPs, directors, manager, team lead, and then like employees. Technically all those people are employees of the company. So it's just funny when these people try to come at you with these rebuttals to your true statements that you're saying that are actually backed up by fact, by diagram and links to sites and things like that that don't even make sense and it's like you clearly don't know what you're talking about and you clearly don't have any experiment like experience in this type of professional corporate atmosphere so kindly suck my ass because you don't know what you're talking about guys i'm not even drinking wine right now because it's fucking noon i mean it's 2020 i can drink whatever i want it's noon i'm just drinking gatorade but i'm extra spicy so dumb also apparently like this one was sent to me and this girl apparently has been in like four MLMs. So clearly she knows how a corporate organization chart works, which that's not even relevant to the conversation. I'll fire right now. Just kidding. All right. Now this one I think is very interesting because one, this girl lives in my area. Two, there have been multiple people who have sent me her Instagram stories and her IGTVs and things like that. And just her posts in general who know her personally and who completely just demolished what she was saying in this. So we're going to take a look at that and I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. Have Happy Wednesday. Um, it's Why Wednesday. So I wanted to hop on here and just kind of talk about my why as to why I do what I do for work and why I continue to do this and strive for more. Um, but I've been doing my job for about two and a half years, working full time through mostly social media, but um, a lot in my network. Um, and before I started doing this, Okay, that just cut me off. But um, yeah, so before I started doing this, I really had no career plans at all. I had no idea what I wanted to do for work. Um, I just knew that I wanted to make a lot of money and I was that 
person that would google like jobs make a lot of money and all the things were always something that either like didn't really speak to me or something i wasn't good at um and when i was brought this opportunity i definitely shut it down for like a good amount of time because i was kind of scared to jump into doing something that i didn't know about or i had no experience with um and what really made me decide to do this was looking at the people that were working this business, living their best lives, literally their dream lives. And they had exactly everything that I wanted in life. They had time freedom. They had the money freedom. You know, they were traveling whenever. And I was like, of course, oh my God, this seems too good to be true. And of course, all the people closest to me were like, they're lying, whatever. After I got past all of that and decided, you know, what? let's just see what it's about. Um, I said yes. And from that moment and realizing how legit everything actually was, I realized all the things that I could do with this opportunity. Like immediately thought about like, oh my gosh, I could, and everything happens for a reason and life timing is everything. You know, my dad was getting sick after I started this and I'm like, oh my God, I have this opportunity that I can work my ass off and, and you know, provide for my family. I can, I can provide for everyone around me with this opportunity if I just give it my all. So for me, after I started was when my why really kind of developed, you know, like when I said yes it was more like I just need to figure out what I'm doing with my life and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't whatever so once I saw the vision I was like so fired up with the thought of being able to take care of my family and provide for them and you know my future be so free like I immediately saw the vision of my future where you know my kids running around and I was able to provide everything and you know Diego was able to stay home with me and I was able to retire my mom and have her stay home with my dad. And I saw everything just like right before my eyes. And it's just crazy when life brings you the right opportunity, it shows you what you're capable of and what you can do. And so two and a half years later, you know, a lot has changed. You know, my why has pretty much stayed the same, but so much has grown from that. So not only do I see a huge successful future for me and my family and, you know, financial freedom and time freedom, but I can also now create that for other people, you know, and generations in my family to come. Like, it's so, it's so much. Okay. So real quick before I like forget everything, I was just writing down and thinking this is very deceiving because the way she's phrasing this, it sounds like she's already achieved these things when she has not at all. Um, and then also the fact that we talk about a lot how like things are really smoke and mirrors and how the, you know, lifestyle is fake and, you know, you don't really know how they are living, you know, what the status of, you know, their life financially really is. It's very easy to fake a life on social media, right? You choose what you share. She doesn't have financial freedom. She lives with her mom and so does her boyfriend. And she does this full time. And she's been doing this for two and a half years, yet she's stuck at the seventh rank um, market mentor. Don't get me wrong. That's impressive that she even got to that. But she also has been qualified for her caddy for like six months now, but she can't get it because she, she can't afford it. And I have multiple people telling me like, she's so dumb because she just wants that, but yet she's not going to be able to afford the payments on it. Cause it's going to be like $900 a month. And that's so dumb. And then also, <laughs> I wrote down her hair looks great though. And then also, um, I think it's so crazy that she's like, I used to just Google how like jobs to make a lot of money. It's like, why are you looking for just a quick fix? Like, that's not how this works. Like the, that immature mindset and the entitlement really just fuels this difference in reality. Like we talk about, you know, it's not a difference in opinion. It's a difference in reality. And then also if everyone's telling you that something isn't a good idea, like the people closest to you, your entire 
family, it's probably not a good idea. It's not because they're hating on you. It's not because they don't want you to be successful. It's not because they don't understand how it works. MLMs and pyramid schemes have been around for 70 plus years. So it's not that they don't get it. It's that they've been through it. They understand it. It's not that they're saying you can't make money through social media. They're not saying you can't make money from your phone. You can, however, doing that via an MLM is not, it's not a good idea. And also she said, my why basically is being able to provide for my family. And she's like, no, it's two and a half years later, you know, so much has changed and so much has grown. But the way she specifically phrased it made it sound like she is already providing for her family, but she's not. And that's so misleading, like so, so, so misleading. It's crazy. Um, and then also the financial freedom, the time freedom, just like all these girls, she's on her phone constantly, constantly posting about it and making all these graphics and stuff and posting all this. It does take a long, like it takes a while. Like I get it, do it for like affiliate marketing, right? Like I do that and it does take a while. So I understand how much like that is it's work. Sure. But imagine spending five hours on something and then not, not being able to recruit anyone and not making money. Like that sucks. Okay. So she's really annoying. So I'm done listening to her. All right. Time for the next one. This one's okay. So I look crazy. Okay, so I look crazy. Welcome to my life. <laughs> um, but listen, I am talking to all of the servers, all the service to, uh, service industry, and just anybody and everybody that has no security in their life right now, okay? Hear me out because my heart is going out to every single one of you, and I genuinely, I am sorry that you're going through all of this. I really, really am. But I was in the service industry for almost eight years. Okay, before this business, during this business, all the above, I've been in the service industry and I could not imagine if that was my sole income. I couldn't imagine my business that I have saving my life. It's saving my bills financially. It's saving my mental health. It's saving Christmas for my kids. It's saving so much. And I, I genuinely. Okay, so. So I just want you guys to know that you have options, okay? If you've been watching me, if you've thought about it, even if you haven't thought about it, this is the time, this is the time to put it into consideration, okay? And I mean that from the bottom of my freaking heart, this three week pause, we don't know how long it's truly gonna go on for. And um, I just could not imagine the stress everybody's feeling I'm feeling it because that's like the empath in me I feel for everybody around me and I just want everybody to feel the security that I'm feeling during this while being a single mother and while moving next week and all of these things and there's so much more out there than working for somebody and not having that security underneath your belt for you my side boobs coming out. I don't, don't want that to show. Get demonetized. I have notes, obviously. So this girl was just talking about job security right now with obviously pandemic, right? People getting laid off, things like that. I'm pretty sure this is like super recent because someone just sent it to me. Like that's so, I don't want to say heartless, but it's just so manipulative. I just can't. Like this one really made me mad because, not made me mad, just annoyed me. Because she, one, why are they always pushing multiple streams of income? Sure, that's great. But a lot of people don't have that option and that's fine. But also a lot of people don't realize that multiple streams of income, like for instance, me and Tony are multi, in, like we're a two income household. And then like, I, like I have two streams as well, like YouTube, which is hardly anything. Thanks for watching my videos. <laughs> Please share. But then also like my actual job too. So yes, I have two streams of income. They push it so much and an MLM isn't two streams of income or an extra form of income. If you're not making anything like the 98% of people on average, who join an MLM and make no money or lose money so it, that, that argument again is irrelevant sure yes do i agree that it's a good thing to have multiple streams of income so that if you lose your job you still have at least a little bit of something like some money coming in then okay sure i agree with that however i feel like pushing that and why they push that is because they want to seem intellectually enlightened basically it's like i'm better than you i know more like financially than you and it's like no you don't the only reason you're even talking about that is because someone said it in a team call or you're up said it like it's the only reason you're saying that and then also she said it's 
saving her financially and mentally. It's like, how is, how is this saving you mentally? Like I, I can understand, you know, you not having to like worry, like sure. But wouldn't this be putting more stress on you mentally because you're now having to recruit more people to make sure that you are going to have that money coming in. And by recruit more people, I mean scam more people. And then just like the way she phrased that as well, not only was like, oh, I know, I know so much more like financially than you, but then also, oh, I'm saying this because I care about you. They don't care about you. They're only trying to recruit you because they want to make money off of you. That's it. That's literally it. There's no other reason for them to want to recruit you at all. And then she was insinuating, I can't remember if she specifically said it or not, but she was insinuating that her situation is secure and that it's like job security. Sure, you're not going to get fired from your MLM. You technically could, like they could just drop you. Like you're a 1099 employee, but still like MLMs within the next hour, they could just send out an email saying, hey, we're dropping our distributor program. Deuces, like goodbye. Or the company could just close down. It's not job security at all. Anything due to do with sales is not secure at all in the least bit. Something that is a little bit more secure that I wanted to get into this past year is like insurance sales or like something like that or like insurance enrollments. It's things having to do with insurance are usually a little bit more secure because even during pandemics and other things, people need insurance. Um, yeah, that was simple shit. I did not like that at all. Okay, so this next one is a repeat offender on my channel and she just pushes and pushes and pushes and tries to act like this is just the best opportunity in the world and clearly it's not. So we're going to see what she has to say about it. Make sure you get it all in all this month. When I tell you that it's literally nonstop November, I promise you this is the best month to join the business because you need to take advantage of everything we have to offer. Aside from all the training that's going on this month, especially until the 5th of November, so literally only two more days, guys, Black Friday, checks are doubling, bonuses are freaking tripling, like, so much. And guys, when I say bonuses, I'm just talking about one of the bonuses that we make, which is our rank bonuses, and it's the big check that we get every 15th of the month where, wow, I put a lot where those go on and last time i mean last year this time december's bonus checks were literally doubled and right here are the bonuses we get per rank and this is just one way that we get paid this is on top of our bonus check this is on top of how much we get paid in commission on top of how much we get paid um when we get girls to join our team on top of everything that we make we just get this extra for ranking up and hitting our numbers and this and that right so you see these numbers, and when I say they're doubling and tripling, the company is literally doubling and tripling them. So if you hit MMP, you see, and you get that $100 bonus, it's going to turn to $200. But then your whole bonus check together, it just grew. Every year, November, for the last six years, we have broken records with numbers. Every year, we just do more and more every November. Why? Because the holidays are around the corner. These both, even if you are completely bald, guys, that is why there is so much value to the business, the products, why we are in magazines, why we have won awards for the freaking top skincare products, hair care, and now wellness. This time next year, I'm sure we'll have awards because they are just that good. And not only do you need to join for the products, the income, but for yourself, this business. We're just going to stop for a second before, again, I forget what I'm saying. Now she says it's the best month to join. They all always say this. Not, like last week was the best week to join. Last month was the best month to join. Last year was the best year to join. Like what is it not? Like why do y'all keep lying? Realistically, the best time to join an MLM is never. But if you are going to, the best time to join is if you are the only person in your area. Like literally the first person in your area and you're not your network, but your region, I guess. That's what we could call that. And then also within like the first two years of it. That's it. And then she said bonus about the bonus track. You know, they always say that we get paid five times monthly or whatever every Friday and then on the 15th and the thing is though that's very deceiving because you're only getting paid if you are ranking up you're ranking up you're having to recruit people if you're going to rank up a lot of people in Monet aren't even able to recruit two people now to keep that rank you have to keep those people on your team as we've seen from multiple or at least I've seen from multiple team calls you all saw from the team call that I reacted to and that we broke down together but you're continuously having to replace people and 
recruit more people because people are quitting. It's not, it's, it's very hard to get paid. It's very hard to make money. And you're not getting paid five times a month if you're not making money, if you're not recruiting people. Sure, yes, you're going to make a little bit from selling, but realistically, how often are you actually selling the products? And then she said, even if you're completely bald, where are you using hair products if you're completely bald? I mean, sure, skincare. That doesn't make sense though. And then she said, we won awards. We're in magazines. She said, we won awards for the best skincare. Where? And I swear to God, if you show me a award, um, like a specific company that gives out awards for network marketing. No, it's funny that they'll say like the first part of a sentence, but then they'll leave off like the rest of the statistic or the fact or something. And that's very deceiving. It's like, oh, well, we won the best skincare award from networkmarketing.com. They take off that part because that diminishes it so that or devalues it, whatever. And then they just say that they've won skincare awards for the best skincare or whatever. It's like, no, mm, no. And then we've been in magazines. Like these girls will go crazy because a Forbes contributor, literally someone who is a, a 1099 employee for Forbes or a blog or whatever, or someone who was just paid to write a piece said that you should try their face serum. That's it. And then also you get companies paid to be put in magazines. So like, what are you doing? It's very embarrassing. This business can do so much for you, your family, your bank account, your hair, your skin, your life, your health, and your overall personal growth, your development, your confidence, literally everything. If you're that person that doesn't have a hair, um, hair routine, skin routine, you don't take balance, you don't take energy, you don't take collagen, you can start. Why? Because everyone needs this in their life. And I am not saying it because this is my job. I'm saying it because even if you don't join the business, and you just use the product you're going to see where i'm coming from you're going to know wow this is why they are obsessed this is why they're freaking in love with what they do and guys this cult can change your life <laughs> why not make an income from the products that you're using i tried out the products before i joined the business and i was like hell yeah why would i not do this why the hell in the world would i so the thing is is that she is only saying all of this because it's her business she wouldn't be on here preaching about it literally preaching if she wasn't trying to make money off of it that's the only reason she's on there you don't see me going on social media ranting and raving about how y'all have to use Fanola shampoo and that's the only one you should use no I'll, i mean promote it every once in a while or you know in a snarky way in one of my videos it's linked below. Use code Chelsea Suarez, all one word, all caps for 10% off. See, like that's like my snarky way of promoting it, which I love for all the products. But you don't see me going on there talking about how you have to use this. You have to use, you know, kiss glue on nails. You have to use, you know, kiss false scare of lashes and it's gonna change your life like no it's not it's not at all these beauty products these wellness sure it's fuck the wellness products are not gonna change your life and she's like okay well even if you don't join the business even if you just try the products the thing is though is that you're if you're gonna try the products it's gonna be a lot easier for her to then manipulate and you into joining the business because then she's gonna say well you're already you're already buying the products it would actually be cheaper for you to buy the products if you joined the business you get a better day discount and all that shit. She is only saying this to have you join her cult so that she can make money off of you. Why the hell in the world would I skip an extra income? And then it potentially like it's in, and then it can potentially turn into a full-time income where I don't have to work a nine to five. And that's what I did. You already wash your hair. You already wash your skin. You already recommend products to your family and friends. And then they go and they get their nails done. They get the Starbucks drinks. They go to target. They pick up the makeup products you recommended and you don't get commission. You don't get shown gratitude. You don't get shown appreciation. The entitlement. Like, why do people have to say thank you to you for you telling them about a product? And then also, yeah, you actually can monetize your social media and send if someone, for instance, people in one of my last videos were asking me like, oh, what tool do you use to make your hair like this? Because my hair is naturally fucking straight and like fucking board straight. Or, you know, hey, where'd you get that sweatshirt you're wearing? And I was like, oh, I linked it in the description box or, you know, here's the link to it or here's the link to the waiver tool that I use. And those are affiliate links. If you buy something through those links, I get a very small commission, but I make commission off of it. And that's passive income. Like that costs nothing for me to do. I don't have to, like it's stuff I'm already using, you know? It's just the, the entitlement and the mentality of that. This is the only way to monetize. And she said, you're not getting paid for the products you're recommending. Yeah, but you're not getting paid for the products you're recommending. You're only getting paid if they buy it through you. And again, I mean, I that's how affiliate marketing works too. But to her point, you're still not getting paid if you like, 
if you're talking about a different like beauty product or something, which they never do. If it's crazy, like they feel like the only products they ever talk about are the ones they're selling. And that's so like, that's so deceiving and just not genuine and sleazy. They're only gonna talk about something if they're gonna make money off of you. And that's so scammy. So why not join a company who will give you those things? Guys, nothing to lose, no risk, no monthly fees, no inventory held. Everything is done on a website that is provided to you. What other business gives you a website to run your business? You will be a business um, owner once you join. Do I even have to say anything? You are not going to be a business owner if you join an MLM. You're not. So why should you listen to someone who is lying to you? Maybe she's not purposely lying to you. Maybe she was fed the wrong information too. But why are you going to take financial business advice from someone who clearly doesn't know what the hell they're talking about? Just consider the source, please. And I'm sure there's probably going to be an MLMer in my comments. Like there always is saying, you don't know what you're talking about. You're full of it. I will send you links. I will show you facts that are released by Monate specifically or any other MLM and the Federal Trade Commission. So are you calling your own MLM a liar? Because they showed that information. They showed their ass. Or are you calling the FTC a liar? Let's show facts, not feelings. You are on my team, but I am not your boss. This is your business. And on top of that, a 30 day money back guarantee in full, even if you used almost the whole bottle of product. If you don't like the business or if- This girl goes on and on and on about, oh, did I already talk? Did I already react to this girl? Pretty sure I did. Am I just reacting to the same things over and over again? Anyways, I'm done watching her. But the thing is, is that she keeps saying in multiple stories, like literally daily, she says the same things. She says that you need to push fear aside and that you are you have nothing to lose. You're no risk, but you do more than 90% chance that you're not going to make money back you're gonna lose money. And then with the 30 day money back guarantee, she always preaches that so much, it's kind of weird. But then multiple people have even said that they weren't able to get back their money in full. And plus you technically don't anyways, because Monet doesn't pay for your shipping. You have to pay for your shipping. So technically, no, it's not a hundred percent money back guarantee. You are still out money. It's it'll, they make it also very hard to to return things as well. So it's just very deceiving. It's all bullshit, and don't join it. Basically, I think there's only one more, or we're done. Oh my god, we're done. All right, guys. So that is it for today's top MLM fails. Thanks for sending me a good amount of those videos. If you're one of the people that sent me one of those, I appreciate you so much. Uh, feel free to direct message me any cringiness. Uh, please, please, please do send me like a screen recording of it though, because there are some of you who are sending me like the person's Instagram stories and then, and then I don't see the message until the next day and then I'm not able to actually like see it. So send me a screen recording. Obviously I crop out everything, so don't worry. And yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that. Appreciate ya. We did right before I started filming, we hit 14,000 subscribers. So love that for us. And feel free to share my videos. Someone told me I should be telling people to do that. So share them, I guess. And I'll see y'all in my next video. So please do remember to remain humble, but still let these bitches know and don't educate. Okay, bye.